Hello and welcome to Travel a la Mode on America West. Today we're in Seattle. We're going to show you this fabulous city. Take in the sights, explore the culture, so sit back and relax as Travel a la Mode does Seattle. Travel a la Mode is made possible by Chateau Saint-Michel Vineyards and Wineries, Washington's most acclaimed winery, www.ste-michel.com. We begin our tour of Seattle at the Hotel Vintage Park. Travel a la Mode's picked for one of the best boutique hotels in Seattle, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Hotel Vintage Park is a Kimpton Hotel. It was built in 1922, and our theme is around Washington State wineries and vineyards. All of our events for our guests are tailored to that. The hotel's concierge, Greg Frederick, is a wine connoisseur who lends his expertise when Vintage Park hosts wine tastings. We do a wine reception in the lobby every evening from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. That's free to hotel guests. We also as often as we can, about once a month, we'll bring in a winemaker, and we also have wine classes the last Wednesday of every month. Yes, sir. For years, Viognier, which is the white grape for the Northern Rhone Valley, was used this to... Is a and to complement the wine, great food at Tulio Ristorante. Executive chef Tim Ferguson takes a simple, rustic approach to create authentic Northern Italian cuisine. You can tell from our rooms that your comfort is important to us. We have more of a residential feel than something a little more corporate or sleek. We include in-room yoga for each of our guests so that they can enjoy stretching out and beginning and ending their day in a pleasant way. The Hotel Vintage Park is perfectly situated. It's close to most downtown area attractions. Within a short walk are the Washington State Convention and Trade Center, Pioneer Square, and the colorful Pike Place Market. For the feel of vintage Seattle, great wine, and Kimpton luxury, may we suggest the Hotel Vintage Park, our pick for one of the best boutique hotels in Seattle. Perhaps no city in the world is as heavily identified with music as Seattle. Bands like Pearl Jam, Nirvana, and Alice in Chains started the grunge and modern rock revolution. So the city was a natural for the Experience Music Project, an interactive museum that tells the history of popular music through a combination of rare rock artifacts and multimedia. You know, over time, popular culture has become such a huge part of America that for baby boomers in particular, for young kids, music is something that they can really understand and hold on to. It means a lot to them. So whereas a Rembrandt may not mean much to young kids, the idea of Jimi Hendrix's guitar is something sacred for a lot of people. Designed by Frank Gehry and dedicated to Seattle native Jimi Hendrix, EMP even lets visitors create their own music in the futuristic sound lab. So it lets you, uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, anybody can get in here just rock. Because it's surrounded by water, Seattle has always been famous for its fresh seafood. And although there are dozens of seafood restaurants throughout the city, there is only one Duke's Chowder House. It's an unpretentious place, and it's a place that's friendly and, and comfortable. But it's high-quality food, only the best ingredients, wild seafood. Duke Mosgrip founded Duke's Chowder House nearly 27 years ago, inspired by his grandfather's recipe for New England clam chowder. Today, he has three Seattle locations, which he runs with his son John, a fourth-generation chowder head. His award-winning recipes have made Duke's a monthly must-do for diners in Seattle. You have to try this. Would you like to try the original potato chip? Well, we have the seafood sampler, the chowders. It's the uh, chicken club. It's the black and halibut filet. I'm enjoying my beard. I think we have the best cheeseburgers. Award-winning award clam chowder. Award-winning. We won this contest so many times they asked us not to compete anymore. Three serious? Seriously, three times running. Mm. We buy only the best salmon available, it's a, it's a Alaska king salmon. And what we're doing again is we're just going to have the best possible meat available for you. 
We're gonna take the skin off the back of this. These are tweezers, and these are called pin bones. They go down the line and just pull them out of the fish. Then what we do is we fillet the fish, and this is what we're gonna, the guests are gonna get here. This is a seasoned egg wash that we put over the top of it. We uh, encrust the pecan salmon. Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Don't miss Duke's Chowder House, a true Seattle tradition. Next, a true Seattle landmark, the Fairmont Olympic Hotel in the heart of downtown. The Fairmont is Seattle's quintessential grand dame and the only AAA Five Diamond Hotel in all of Washington State. Well, the hotel was built in 1924. It was an effort by the city to drive an economic turnaround uh, after the First World War. And they wanted to be a convention center city, so they built this fabulous hotel. And uh, many of the people, 4,500 of the people of the city, contributed to a bond to build the hotel uh, to uh, drive this economic recovery. The Fairmont was built during the height of the 1920s classical revival movement. It's filled with rich Italian Renaissance and Georgian architectural detail. We found the warm residential rooms first class. Old world luxury merges with modern creature comforts and new technology, making the Fairmont a top choice for both business and leisure travelers. The blend of classic and contemporary also shows up in the hotel's cuisine. Chef Gavin Stevenson interprets timeless dishes with modern flair at the elegant Georgian restaurant. We also found the Fairmont's fitness center first rate. With weight training designed to hit every muscle group, a 42-foot indoor swimming pool, sauna, and a relaxing massage. For an added touch of class, visit the Fairmont Olympic. The Space Needle is Seattle's most recognizable attraction. Built for the World's Fair in 1962, it draws more than 1.2 million visitors each year. And right around the corner is the Best Western Executive Inn. We really believe that what makes this hotel special is location. The Best Western is right across the street from the Experience Music Project, and it's close to attractions like Pike Place, the Seattle Aquarium, the Waterfront, and Convention Center. And you can hop on the monorail and be downtown in minutes. We are a smaller property where we can give you the attention that you want, uh, and large enough to offer you where you can have families come and stay, multiple rooms, small conventions, reunions, we have nice meeting space to handle larger pieces of business as well as smaller pieces of business. The hotel has 123 well-appointed and spacious rooms. Each comes equipped with internet access. We have uh, business and leisure guests that come to stay at the Best Western Executive Inn. Um, we're a full-service hotel and we also have shuttle service and complimentary parking. We have Brella's Restaurant and Lounge. Um, it's American cuisine with a really great Northwest flair. The lounge at Brella's is a great place to unwind after a day of sightseeing or meetings. Well, my mother told me a philosophy of treat your family like company and your company like family. So when they come in, everybody's at home. The Best Western Executive Inn is a fun, vibrant hotel located in the heart of Seattle. And it's as close as you'll get to the Space Needle without being an astronaut. And that about does it for today's show and our Spotlight on Seattle. Check us out next month on America West Airlines when we visit Phoenix and Scottsdale. I'm Jacqueline Pignol. For all of us at Travel a la Mode, enjoy your flight. Travel a la Mode is made possible by Chateau Saint Michel Vineyards and Wineries, Washington's most acclaimed winery, www.ste-michel.com.